Welcome back again guys. Uh, I got a little different project today. A little uh, engine engine 302 valve relief cutting. Uh, we're going to fly cut the pistons. I'll show you how I'm doing it. Uh, this is not my tool. A uh, friend of mine, Dan, lent me this tool. Yeah, another Dan. Uh, let's get to it and I'll show you what we're working with. So what we got is a 351 or 302 head. If it's a 302 head, the bolt holes have been drilled out for uh, half inch studs. Uh, looks like we got a valve in there, but it's not really a valve. It's a valve with a fly cutter, machining cutter, uh, welded to it. And that's this is the exhaust. And uh, yeah, that is the intake valve. So we're going to bolt that onto the cylinder head and uh, start cutting. All right, you guys going to go along for a ride attached right to my forehead here. <clears throat> See, I've already got one notch there on uh, this side. Uh, the four on the other side are already notched. So we've got that in there, that is cylinder number six. And as cylinder number six comes up, number one will be coming up. Um, on this, we've got to actually sneak up on the cutter with the piston. Um, because uh, <clears throat> that valve you saw sits kind of proud of the, uh, of the uh, cylinder head there. And uh, it actually runs into the piston. <clears throat> so let's get my uh, drill attached. We can turn that over by hand. Oh, we're a long ways away there yet. So once uh, cylinder number one starts coming up to the top, should be right about there where I want to slow down and I'll start feeling it on this cutter as I lift back on it. There it is, it's starting to starting to catch now. <clears throat> and as I'm doing that and cutting, I'm gonna be turning on a vacuum cleaner, I'm not sure you can hear, and we stick the vacuum right into the exhaust port. <clears throat> And we just go a little bit at a time.
you'll feel it when it's uh, about done cutting. It's just uh, barely any drag anymore on the cutter. And we got that stop on there. Got that stop on there, so they're all the same. Let's see. Uh, let's see how she looks. <clears throat> As you can see, we've got uh, all of them uh, fly cut, and after fly cutting, they do leave, especially the intakes, they do leave a sharp uh, burr on top. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up very well, but uh, you can probably see it pretty good anyway. So we're going to get rid of all the sharp spots, get rid of any burr. Uh, we're going to use an electric die grinder with a carbide burr. Um, where are we here? Carbide burr, specifically made for aluminum. And uh, get rid of any sharp spots. Sharp spots lead to hot spots. Hot spots lead to detonation. So I put a blanket over the rest of this motor. going to try my best to keep any uh, shavings out of out of this engine it's a fresh rebuild and this part was overlooked so on that note let's uh, begin here and start grinding there's a little spot there where the center of the cutter doesn't hit so we'll take that off as well Takes very little effort to take that out of there. I'm gonna come around this this side just because, uh, well, just because it's easier. So that pretty much takes care of that. And now uh, eight more to go. Alrighty, they're all fly cut and all deburred with a die grinder, carbide burr, just to get the sharp spots off. No sharp spots, no hot spots. <clears throat> 